Sí, voy a poner. Almighty God, we thank you this evening once again for giving us life. Father, we bring today's section, today's programs into your hands, O oh Lord. Let your spirit, O oh Lord, come and take absolute control. Father, we bring our participants into your hands, O oh Lord. May you lead them and guide them so that they also impart knowledge to your people who are waiting to serve you. Through your son, Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, and God bless you for praying for Amen, us. Amen, um, So, um, like we agreed on, um, you pardon me for my inability to join you last week. Um, it was some reasons beyond my um, control. Um, so we are going back to um, just a quick recap of what Papa has done with us. Fat Papa Senior also has done that one with us. And so just a quick recap, and then we move on. And so the general thing that we learn about the act of the apostles, please, if you remember any, just raise your hand and then you share with us, and then we can move on quickly about the act of the apostles. Meanwhile, I have shared a summary, a summary of facts on the book of the apostles on your page. I have highlighted on some key issues that I want to take note of. And so I have underlined the, I don't know if anybody has seen it on your WhatsApp page. Yes, yes, Papa, I've seen it. Okay. So for those of you who haven't, I've shared it on your page, about a 14 or 15 page document. And so you take your time and then please take your time. This one, you need to take your time pa, and then read through. Read through. You, you will understand a lot of issues in simple terms, just as we've done. All right, so please share with me what you have done briefly on the act of the apostles, and then we can move on. If you remember any, just show your hand, and then you please, when you are called, what you share with us, please. Please share them with me. All right, then let me call the names so that we the names will let people come out and tell us what they have done and then we can move on so as usual uh where's my friend uh samuels jabba yao please tell us what do you remember on the act of the apostle that you did okay thank you papa um we i already learned about um the apostle uh, the act of the apostle being the second book of uh, uh the Saint Luke and it talks about uh, it's like a continuation of the works of the apostle as after the ascension of Jesus Christ. I learned that it talks about the beginning of Christianity. Uh, in the in Twitter and what how do you went about the address? Mm. So I, I think this is a little I have. Okay. Thank you. Yes, any other person who can share with us? Brad Jacob, please share yours with us. Brad Jacob, yes, I see you there. Share with us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whilst we wait for Brad Jacob, Nenebi Gabi, please share with us. Nenebi Gabi, share with us what you remember. Oh, Nenebi is also not ready. Okay, Brad Jacob, yes, I see your mic is on. Share with us, yes. Brad Jacob, your mic has been muted again. Okay, okay, so um, um Osofo, Osofo, tell them I'm here. Okay, listening. by Jacob, yes, you are here. Osofo. Ah. Okay, sir. Adolfo is on. Osofo. By listening, I'm sure yeah, he them, asked. Do you understand? You said yes. We understand. Adolfo is here. Thank. You.
Right. So, yes, Brad Jacob, are you there? Okay. Isaac, that I get these also not yes, available. Please, Baba. Okay. So, talk to us, Brad Jacob. Okay. Yes, Papa. Um, actually, I traveled to a certain place where network there was so bad. So, um, um forget. Uh, on this uh, but then I'm back to a place where uh, now the network is okay that's why I'm joining today okay. Papa. all right that's okay that's an honest answer I trust you thank you very much thank so uh, Isaac the Tagidi are you there okay Isaac Bedia Kukranchi please share something with us okay Papa um, what I have learned is that um the um, art of the apostles talks about the early church whereby uh, when christ was no more on this earth he gave them the holy spirit so that they would go to all nations to preach the gospel mm. whereby By when they saw what they were these uh, the apostles themselves who called themselves Christians, but it was what mm -hmm. they were doing that they said yes, indeed they were Christians. And I think one point was that if it wasn't the actual apostles, and then we the Gentiles will not also get closer to the throne of grace. This is what I have also learned, Papa. Okay, that is fine. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so uh, Auntie Mercy. Auntie Mercy, talk to me. I miss you plenty, plenty. Please talk to me. Yes, yes, Papa. Papa, please, I just joined, though. <laughs> okay, I'm asking what you did previously, last week, on the act of the Apostles. What do you remember? Oh, okay. Um, Papa, you let's continue. I'll remember and tell you. Okay, so Auntie Mercy has said, let's continue. So please, nobody should say, let's continue again. Let's continue has been said. So let me go to most, uh, Gideon Abugri. Yes, Papa Gideon Abugri. Papa Gideon, Gideon Abugri, are you there? Uh, Papa, I've just joined. Though. You've just joined? Yes, please. Okay, so Gideon has also said that he has just joined. So please, nobody should give that answer. I've just joined again. Okay, <laughs> so let me go to um, Benjamin Ajabin. Benjamin Ajabin. Benjamin, are you there? All right, then let me go to Prince Amponsa. Prince Amponsa. Prince Amponsa, are you live? About life. Okay, so talk to us. Mm -hmm. okay. Last week, I was nowhere to be found, but I know that As of the Apostle was um, written by Dr. Luke. Okay. All right, so he knows it was written by Luke, the physician. All right. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. So, um, like I did, when we were talking about the Gospel of St. Luke, I made mention that there are two books that were written by um, uh, Luke, the physician. And then I made mention that Luke did not intend to actually write books. Okay? But he intend he says that after the things that he heard, after he he has investigated. He has also come up with these as confirmation. We said it the last time we were doing the look. And so he wrote one and later came to continue. But upon a scholarly study, the books are having two different dimensions. One focuses on the life of Jesus. One focuses on the life of Jesus. The other one the other one uh, also focuses on uh, the life after the death of Jesus. So uh, 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 scholarly uh, argument and uh, explains that the, those who did the canon, the New Testament canon, those who put the books together to form the New Testament, they separated them. 
And so instead of volume one, volume two, they made the volume one the gospel of St. Luke. And then the volume two became the act of the apostles. And I explained that it is also, it is called the activities of the apostles. In short, we say acts. When we say act, it's an action, right? So we're referring to the act, the actions or the activities of the apostles. That's why we have the name acts. Okay, a shortened form of act, action or activity of the apostles. And so it is the story of the life after Jesus in the ways of the apostle. It is a story of the start of the early church. It is a story about the difficulties that the, the starters of the early church went through. And it's also a story of how the church was persecuted and how the church was able to spread and what power made the church spread. Those ones are basically what has been dealt with in the Acts of the Apostles. And so it's to give an account of the birth and growth of the Christian church. Those are the key things that we know. Um, the original audience of this one. Okay, I told you that when we talk about um, Luke, the Gospel of St. Luke, it was written originally to, um, to uh, uh, Theophilus and then to the fellow Gentiles. I made mention that among all the four Gospels, it is only the Luke, the Gospel of St. Luke, that is written by a Gentile. The rest, all texts are all Jews. Okay, and so this one too is written by the same Gentile. Luke had written this one too. But the primary audience is to uh, the uh, Theophilus. Okay, His Excellency Theophilus, the, the 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 brother or the partner in the ministry. It was written to Theophilus. Okay, uh, one thing that we know is that the commonest verse or the most popular verse that we all know in this book is the Acts chapter 1 verse 8. I am sure you all know the Acts chapter 1 verse 8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, you know, Judea and to Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And so we have everything there to the ends of the earth. And that is when you are getting all those ones. Don't forget that the key persons we are referring to in this book, we are talking about Peter. Okay, we are talking about John. We are talking about James, Stephen, Philip, Paul, Paul, Paul. Don't forget. Okay, everything about Paul starts in this book. We are talking about Barnabas. We are talking about Cornelius, a very iconic character or person in this book. Okay, we are talking about James, the brother of Jesus. We are talking about Timothy. We are talking about Lydia, Silas. We are talking about Titus. We are talking about Apollos. We are talking of Agabus. We are talking of Ananias, Felix, Festus, and the king Agrippa, the wicked king. And then we will talk about Luke in person also here. Don't forget that the key people that we are referring to or the key places, hmm, Jesus asked them to wait in Jerusalem, to Judea, to Samaria, and to all. We know of the story of the start of the church that we started in Antioch. And so Antioch is a key place here. Okay. We know of Juppa. We know of Cyprus, Sidon, and, um, Iconium, Lystra, Derby, Philippi, Thessalonica, Berea. Act 17. We know that we have the Berean people. Paul says that what it, it likes about it is that whatever you have told them, they also go take the Bible and search and be sure that what you have taught them is true. Okay, so the Berean people are there, Athens, Corinth, Ephesus, Caesarea, and Malta, and then Rome as well. All these ones are persons in uh, areas in the book of Acts. Don't forget that there are so many of the questions that some of the countries or nations are given, and they ask you which one is or does not have any role in the book of the act. And so for the book of the act, I need you to master that book. You have a lot of questions to answer from here. And um, um, some other books in the Pauline, just as we did to the Gospels. Please take note of this one. Here, we know that from the, uh, we know that from the verse one, the people who were waiting in that room praying, they were all Galileans, okay? They were all from Galilee. They are, they are men from Galilee. And that is why he says that, ye men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus that uh, you see him go up into the heavens, 
you come in the same way, right? And so those ones are very important themes that you need to master or you need to understand. You need to understand. As for the author, I've told you that it was uh, Luke and it was, was written to Theophilus. Mm -hmm. So when he says that the first one I had written, you know the first book that he has written is the Gospel of St. Luke. So for those ones, we know. Um, yes, so uh, another thing that we see from this book is that we see on the day of the Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit has come upon them and they were able to speak in different languages and everything. You see, people just didn't gather. But when they heard the wind, that mighty wind that was coming, okay, when that like a rain or something that is coming very heavy, that mighty wind, that made people come out. And don't forget that the Greek community was more of a Hellenistic society. The last time I explained that when you talk about Hellenists, we are talking about Jews who have been used to other cultures or who have adapted other cultures. Okay, so they are Hellenists. And so there were a lot of them there. And that is why he says that, and they could hear them speak in their own languages. It means that people actually had different languages that they were speaking. People have different languages. Mm -hmm. People had different languages. And so uh, when we go back to the one, the one chapter five, uh, the chapter one verse five, for John baptized you with water, but you'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. That was a solid assurance of the Holy Spirit. In the one, it says that, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Mm -hmm. You receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. So all those ones, all those ones. Don't forget that he asked them to wait in Jerusalem. And so when he was promising them the one eight, he said that you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem. And that is why in missiology or in the study of missions, we always talk about our central place or our Jerusalem. Our Jerusalem is our immediate environment. And so everything must start from our Jerusalem. And then we go to our Judea. We go to our Samaria. We go to our ends of the earth, to every place. We must start everything in the church and then go to other places. That becomes our inner circle. And that is our Jerusalem. When the people were united in prayer, those who were there, those are the apostles. So, I'm sure for those ones, by now, you should know how uh, that was somebody. Can somebody remember that one? Mm -hmm. Matthias was selected with another person. It's Barnabas. Barnabas. And who was selected? Uh -huh. so who was selected? Uh -huh. Is anybody there who was selected? Matthias, Papa. Okay. And so for those basic stories, you must always have, have it in mind. Now, on the day of Pentecost, something happened. Okay. When Peter had stood up to speak, he spoke to over 3,000 people. People gave their lives. Okay. People gave their lives. So Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed to them, men of Judah and all residents of Jerusalem, let me explain to you this and pay attention to my words. For these are for these people that you see are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only nine in the morning. On the contrary, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. So in Joel's book, where was this spoken? Joel chapter two, verse twenty eight to thirty two. As for this test, I need you not to forget. You meet it, by all means, you meet it, because almost every year, you find it there. Okay? And so you need not to forget that one. Joel chapter 2, 28 to 32. 
in the last days I will pour out my spirit on all humanity. Then your sons and daughters will prophesy. Then other uh, young men will see visions. Old men will dream dreams. And I will even pour out my spirit on all male and female slaves in all those days. And they will be they will prophesy. And I will display wonders in the heaven above and the signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and a cloud of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and remarkable day of the Lord comes. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. These ones, you need to master all these ones. All those reference scriptures, you must have them on your fingertips. They are very important that you cannot do away with them, especially at this crucial moment. Especially at this crucial moment. And so the two present as the account of what happened on the day of Pentecost. Don't forget that the day of Pentecost is not a day because it's not uh, did not come about because the Holy Spirit came upon them. It was already a festival that they were observing. Okay, so the day of Pentecost was there already. And so when it comes to that time, they all come together to observe. And so that day of Pentecost, which has been used there, is to express that God made it happen at a time when a lot of people were in Jerusalem. When a lot of people were in Jerusalem, so that they can all do this. All right. So um, those who wrote it in 20, I think one of the questions on this day of Pentecost, one of the questions given time to when an incident happened. It was day of Pentecost. And day of Pentecost, he wrote small d and then capital P. So small d day and then Pentecost, uh, capital P. One, he wrote capital P day and then P, Pentecost small. The act is a specific time. And so capital D, capital P. I don't know if anybody has seen some of those questions. It was either in English or the New Testament. Papa, the examiner deliberately brought it. Yes. Sorry to distract you. Um, okay. With reference to the Pentecost day that you are making. Yeah. You said, you said it is a day of remembrance. Yes. Now there is a particular thing. I don't know. It's I don't know if if it might be examinable or my mind is telling me. Okay. In the Old Testament, um. There was something that said when King Hosea died, Hezekiah mm -hmm. or Hosea died. Yes. As I say, he saw the glory of God. Yes. Papa, that thing, it's, is it for the bad? Is it, does it mean that the king was a hindrance to the glory of God to be seen in his life? As we are seeing in the Pentecost day, today too. Like, if you compare these two stories, mm -hmm. is it that those days... The king was a hindrance to the prophet that he might not see the glory of God. I need a little bit of clarification over there so that um, I will be very careful in case I come across something like that in essence. I'll be careful to answer. Okay. Uh, at this stage, obviously nobody will ask you uh, a biblical, uh, exegetical question. When we say as exegesis, we are looking at a contextual study of the scripture. Here, what you are doing now is just introduction to the Bible. Tell us what you know, all right? But let, once you are brought it, let me explain it to you. I think last Sunday in my sermon, yesterday I spoke about that one. It is true. Most of us have used that test in the past. Eh? When you have to go and do some shabu shabu somewhere, you go and start there. Hey, hallelujah. You see, in the year King Isaiah died, Isaiah said, I saw the glory of God. Somebody must die. And we think we are killing people. But that's not the reality. It was to give the timing of when Isaiah saw the glory of God. He says that I saw the Lord seated in the temple and his garment has overshadowed every place, shining and whatever. All right, that is what is in Isaiah 6. And so it is that in the year in which King Isaiah died is to indicate the particular time when he saw the glory of God, but not necessarily because Uziah was sitting in the glory. No human can sit on the glory of God. Please take this. No human can sit on the glory of God. 
anything that comes of God cannot be stopped by human. Okay, you, you cannot stop the glory of God. The glory of God from the uh, Greek word uh, gloria. Okay, the word glory from the Greek word gloria. It, in the Old Testament, it is used to express the presence of God. The presence of God. Okay, so the presence of the Lord is here. So the glory of the Lord is here. In the New Testament, the word glory is expressed in the personality of Jesus. And so John 1, 14, and the word became flesh and we and it dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as the glory of the only son of God. All right. And so we beheld the glory of the son as in his person. And so here the glory of God, once we accept Christ, his glory comes upon us. But typical of the Old Testament, when we talk about glory it means that the presence of the lord is there okay and that is why those who had encounter with the lord their faces could change okay. let me give you a typical akan narrative for those of you who don't understand the tree i'll try and maybe get it in simple english but you see when we talk about the word glory in tree we say enimunyam is that not it we will say enimunyam enim a inyam means it bright, it shines. Okay, it's bright and it shines. So and so the reverse is that if it is not a nim a means that a nim no edum and say a nim edumwa. We don't have an account word for what we say a nim no a gufem ana a guase. And the onipa the nim be nyam ana the nim a guase. Either it shines or it goes into the dark. Baby, any monyamu on where there is glory, everybody comes there. Everybody there's light, so everybody comes there. But where there is disgrace, there is darkness, and so people don't go there. That is why people who attract say, "Oh, the glory of the Lord is upon them," so everybody goes to them. But when people are disgraced, people don't even want them to come closer to them. Neither do they go closer to such people too. All right. I don't know if it has been answered. Typically, let me emphasize on that one again. In the year in which King Isaiah died, symbolizing is just a language. The temple in the year in which you, on Isaiah's uh, time opportunity. No. Thank you so much, Papa. I'm grateful. Yeah, I know this one. You are not the only person who may need that one. <laughs> I see. Uh, what's up for Abugri? My Papa. brother Abugri, did he ask that Papa. question for you? <laughs> yeah, it, but it went for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know all of you who have been doing the Gushai Gushai in the church, so I know that, that quotation, you have been using it for <laughs> All right, so let's continue. All right, so um, we move on to the three. Okay, I've spoken about the day of Pentecost and the things that happened. Please make time and then read through those ones well. Now, the healing of a lame man, the healing of a lame man, the healing of a... You know that we, we recall that this healing of somebody, we have seen it severally. Remember the uh, the narrative of Mark, uh, the narrative of um, Matthew, yes, where Jesus healed somebody on, and they said, no, it's a Sabbath day. I'm sure you remember. We find the same story in Luke, where uh, for Luke, he gave a little explanation to that one. The last time we divulged into that story. This one, some scholars have said that this uh, healing here relates to that one. Some have also said that, no, this is a different situation and it has nothing to do with that one. But whichever way, there was healing and there was attack after the healing. Now let's go on. The man was lame. He was at the temple begging. And so he gets there and then instead of looking at him, expecting to get one, they said, silver and gold we do not have. But such as we have is what we give you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. This one is in Acts chapter 3, verse 6. 
Acts chapter 3, verse 6. I've seen most of the past questions. They've quoted that Peter said, For silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have is what I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And they have quoted Act 3, 1. Some have quoted Act 3, 2. All those ones. Please remember it's Act 3, verse 6. And so I said earlier when we started that for the New Testament, when you get to a test, you read and you see a particular test and it's a very popular one. Please circle it or mark it and try to remember where it can be found. That uh, first 50 or 70 questions that you have to select, the multiple choice especially, majority of them are very simple, simple things that you know. Sometimes you finish the paper and you take it and you are like, ah, this, this, this test is a minimum. But because you didn't pay particular attention, you select the wrong answer. Please um, take note of it. So there, there, there was healing. All right. There was healing. There was healing. And certainly there was a, a plot speaking to the people. Peter got arrested while speaking to the people. Okay, but before then, let's look at something here. In the chapter four, we, we may not be able to go through all the books in the Act of the Apostle, but like Papa has taken you through already. And so this is just a recap that we are doing. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. In Act chapter three, we read that, uh, Act chapter two, sorry. We read that after the uh, the the Pentecost day experience, when the uh, the wind of a, a storm, a rush wind, okay, came to the place and then placed that tongues of fire on them, they were able to speak in tongues in the Act chapter two. Please remember that that use of tongues there, from the Greek uh, language, we are referring to different languages. Okay. The tongues that we are speaking in the day, those ones, that typically is not what we are referring to. They spoke in tongues. They spoke in language. That is why when you read the Acts chapter 2, uh, verse 3, you see that different languages, as the Spirit enabled them. As the Spirit enabled them. And so somebody who is uh, from Rome will hear them speaking in his own language. From Italy, we hear them speaking in their own native languages. It is about the different languages. So the Spirit empowered them to be able to speak different languages, which they have not learned at all. But the Spirit made them learn that one. We read from the Acts chapter 2 that on that day, Peter stood before the people and spoke to them. And about 3,000 people gave their life to Christ. That 3,000 souls there, we are referring to 3,000 men. When we started, I told that we are dealing with a patriarchal society. The Greeks are very masculine centered people. Okay, They were not counting the women in most of these issues. Now, when you go to the Act chapter 4, when Peter, if just even before the arrest, when he stood to speak to the people, about 5,000 people, the number of people in the church came to about 5,000. means that about 2,000 have been added this time round. And so take note of that one. In Acts chapter 2, we are talking of 3,000. In Acts chapter 4, verse 4, we are talking of 5,000 people. Difference of 2,000, which has been added. And so more and more people were added to the church, day in and day out. Now, let me take you to 4 verse 12. 4 verse 12. This time, the people has arrested Peter, taking him to the Sanhedrin. But when they look at the eloquence, the intelligence, and the way he does his thing, they know this guy, obviously, he has been with Jesus. And that is how come he's able to explain things and issues like this. And so, if well, if he has been with Jesus, and he's able to, and he will not go for him, let's, Let's let's do something so that he'll be scared. So that next time when he goes, he won't go and be preaching again. But this man said, No, 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 no. If you ask me today how this man has gotten well, it is the name of the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the one whom you people killed. It is in his name that we have made this guy whole. And he 